What's up guys, Steve Craig Retro Games back with another video and tonight is just a quick pickups video uh, but some things I am happy to add to the collection and excited to share with you guys so without any further ado let's check out the newest editions. Alright guys so before I show the games <clears throat> I always show um, other stuff first and this is a CD holder. Uh, that I am going to be using for my PlayStation 1 games. And this is from Brookstone. And this holds 40 uh, CD trays or 40 CD cases. But here's the cool thing about this one. Is that it's push and pop. So it's easy access. And uh, I found this at one of my local Goodwills for $9. I saw one of these in somebody's um, game room tour about a year ago and absolutely loved it. And I could not find one anywhere. And I just happened to cross one at uh, my local Goodwill. So for $9, I picked one up and thought that this would be perfect for my PlayStation 1 collection. Um, so I've got room to grow. But uh, yeah, that is a really cool piece to... Uh, add to the collection and now we will get to the actual games and stuff all right guys i got a decent little variety here so first we will start off with an xbox one game and that is the rare replay 30 hit games one epic collection this is something i've been looking to add for a while and uh finally came across it in the wild this is the list of games up here so some of the notable ones are Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Kazooie uh, Nuts and Bolts, Banjo-Tooie, Battletoads, uh, Cobra Triangle, Conker's Bad Fur Day, Grabbed by the Ghoulies, Jet Force Gemini, Jetpack Refueled. Uh, so a great list of games. You also got some down here, Killer Instinct Gold, Perfect Dark, and Zero, RC Pro-Am, RC Pro-Am 2, uh, Saber Wolf, Snake Rattle and Roll, Viva Pinata. So great little collection of games to have here. And um, very happy to add that to the Xbox One collection. Now I do have one PS4 game. And that is Stray. A game that uh, I've been looking to add for a while. And uh, finally found one um, at my local GameStop for the PS4. I keep running across PS5 versions of the game. Um, but this is a game that I've heard some pretty good things about. And uh, I am definitely interested in playing and checking out. This one is complete with uh, these little cards here that are still sealed. So uh, definitely interested in checking this out. If you've played this game before, uh, let me know in the comments uh, what your thoughts were. Picked up two Xbox 360 titles. I love my 360. <clears throat> the first one is Dark Souls 2. So now I have Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3. Very happy to uh, have finally come across this one and been able to add this one to the collection. I have 1 and 3 for the PS3, and now I have Part 2 for the 360. But uh, as long as I have them to play don't necessarily care what system they're on and um, as much as I enjoy playing these these aren't games that I have to have on the same console so and the other 360 game is something I've never played but I've heard really good things about and that is enslaved Odyssey to the West this is a ninja theory game and um, this is basically like uh, loosely based on the Monkey King story, I believe. But I've heard really good things about this game over the years. And um, I just never picked it up. And then for the last year or so, I have not seen this game in person uh, until I ran across it the other day. So I finally was able to pick up a nice complete copy. Uh, but I'm actually really excited to check that check this game out. Um, so 
I, I know that this game does a lot of different things and it doesn't do any of them particularly uh, perfect, but it's a great game when you add all of these different game elements together the way that they do it. I, I hear that they did a really good job. So I'm uh, pretty excited to check that one out. Picked up two Switch titles. The first one is a new copy of Bomb Rush Cyber Funk. It's just released for the Switch. I'll probably be leaving this one sealed and I'll get a digital, digital copy of this game. Uh, one second per second of highly advanced funk style. So this is supposed to be uh, like a successor to uh, Jet Set Radio, uh, those, the jet, jet games. Uh, with the art style, the music, uh, you are tagging graffiti on the walls. Um, but I've heard good things about this game, and I definitely dig the art style and the music, and wanted to have a copy of this for the collection. So, And I love the art style on the front there. Apparently in the beginning of the game, you lose your head, and a friend of yours attaches a robot head to your body. So, yeah, crazy stuff. And then the other Switch game is a sealed copy of Ninja, uh, Ninja uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild with all of the expansion pack um, on the cartridge. Uh, this is only released in Japan, but this is an uh, English included. But this has all of the DLC included on the cartridge, and I really wanted to have this. Uh, I've got the original game, so I don't need to open this one, but uh, very happy to have picked this up and uh yeah i've been i've been really trying to pick up a lot of the dlc included on the cartridge uh lately for some of these switch titles i think those are going to be pretty sought after down the road so happy to have that one in the collection picked up one game boy advance game and that is fire pro wrestling complete in the box uh, for those of you that don't know, this is probably the best wrestling game on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, it doesn't have the roster that you're familiar with. Uh, however, you can build your own wrestler, and it is pretty damn detailed. And this game has way more moves than any other GBA wrestling game you can even shake a stick at. Uh, so this game is way more advanced as far as move sets uh, than your typical uh, wrestling games like WWF, WWE, all of those different games. Um, however, you get the big names with those games and in this game you don't. But you can basically build your uh, wrestler to, uh, you know, represent whatever wrestler you like and then go battle them. But I mean, look at this. 150 different wrestlers, each with their own fighting styles and finishing moves, special fantasy moves. Create your own wrestler, choose from over 1,200 different techniques, and build the ultimate warrior. The, then customize his costume and even create your own wrestling federation. Save them, trade them. Battle against the computer, go up against three of your friends. I mean, come on. Um, huge, huge move set. So very happy to have this in the uh, Game Boy Collection. There is a Fire Pro Wrestling 2 as well. It's basically the exact same game with a few subtle changes, but this one plays better, so. And then the last item, guys. Very, very happy to have this in the collection. As you guys know how much I love this system. This is a Neo Geo Pocket. This is an original pocket system, not a Neo Geo Pocket color. I have the top opened up already, so I didn't have to do that on camera. This is a Japan release only. All of the non-color versions were Japan release only. So now I will open this up. This is brand new in box. It has been opened, but unused. And this thing is gorgeous, guys. Let me show you this. Pull this out here. Got the manual and stuff in there. Batteries in the box. Yeah, 
and this is the black and white version here. Otherwise, it would say color up in the top right corner. Got your micro switch controller there. Burgundy silver buttons with the white. Absolutely beautiful. And this one is black and white only as far as the screen goes. But uh, love it. I mean, this thing is beautiful. So very, very happy to add this to the Neo Geo Pocket Color Collection or the Neo Geo Pocket Collection, I should say. Um, but yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts below. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did and you're not yet a subscriber to the channel, think about hitting that subscribe button for me. And if you enjoy my content and you'd like to check out a little bit more, and it's been a while since we've put anything up there, I am sorry. You can go to my Instagram. That is Steve Craig Retro Games. Same as it is down below. Uh, but life is keeping us busy. And um, Leanne sometimes uh, doesn't get to taking pictures and stuff for the Instagram. But still, uh, go check out what has been posted on there. And um, of course, make sure you come back every Monday for my handheld game of the week series. And then every Friday is a pickups video or some type of collection video. Um, but come the first of the year, I'm thinking about adding another series uh, to my uh, repertoire. So we'll see how the next month plays out. But uh, leave me some comments down below, guys. Let me know your thoughts on any of my pickups. Um, are you a fan of the Neo Geo Pocket or Pocket Color? Uh, I would be curious to know. And um, of course, uh, I appreciate the love, the comments, the thumbs ups. Um, really, really helps me uh, with this channel to keep pushing forward um, because sometimes things get tough. But uh, thank you guys as always for watching. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Until Monday, take care of yourselves out there. Stay warm and keep gaming.